Hey guys, welcome back to another Z Code System video here on YouTube, or if you're watching on our blog, welcome back. This week, we're going to talk to you about the English Premier League games that are coming up this weekend, Saturday, February 8th, and Sunday, February 9th. Now, this is going to be a shortened weekend in the English Premier League as the league has instituted a winter break for this season. Now, we will have four games coming up on Saturday, and then they will stagger those to where you will be able to see six games the following week, and they will be alternating that to give teams a little bit of a break from the action now in the middle of the season. Each team will get about a 13-day gap in the season and to have a little bit of a break. So we're going to talk about those games coming up now on the 8th and the 9th, because there's still some big games coming up despite the winter break being instituted. So we'll be talking about those, and there on the blog, as you can see right in front of you, you can read about these games that we have already picked and previewed. And if you go over to the website, you can read about an extra game that we're not going to talk about today on the video. So you'll have to go over to the blog and read all about that. So we hope you are having a great time with your betting. And if you were betting on the Super Bowl and you watched our Z Code System uh, video and you read our blog, you will see that the uh, Chiefs won the Super Bowl and that was our big pick to win the Super Bowl. So we hope you had a great time betting on those games. So let's head over to Z Code System, uh, the VIP wall, and you guys can take a look at these picks that we're going to talk about now. Okay, so here we are with our first game that we're going to talk about this weekend, and that is Crystal Palace. They are going to be visiting Goodison Park and taking on Everton. Now, as you can see, Crystal Palace are not in the best of form. They have, uh, or they are, uh, winless in their last five games, and they have lost back-to-back -back games in the English Premier League last week, and they lost to Sheffield United. And as you can see there, they have not scored in the last 180 minutes of Premier League football. So, Eagles are struggling, especially after that big draw they had on January 18th at the Itahad Stadium against reigning champions Manchester City. So they are doing very poorly, and uh, they go to Goodison Park to play a rejuvenated Everton after Carlo Ancelotti took over the managerial reins in December. He has turned this team around from being uh, a team that was down near the bottom of the table and in the relegation zone to a team that is now looking at possibly qualifying for the Europa League next season. They're not too far off that, and I if uh, my memory serves me correct, they're actually not that far off of fourth place and a possible Champions qualification spot. I don't think they're going to be good enough, though, to achieve that. But they are doing well, and there is hope for next season that they will have a better year than what they had to kick off this year. And as you can see, last week, they did beat, uh, Everton did beat Watford, and uh, that game saw Theo Walcott score in the fourth minute of, fourth minute of second half stoppage time to give Everton the win. So a big win there as they were headed to another draw. And again, you can see four games unbeaten now for Everton heading into this game. Let's take a look at what happened earlier this season. And we had a nil-nil draw between these two teams at Selhurst Park. And as you can also see, the last two times that they played at Crystal Palace's Selhurst Park, those games ended nil-nil. Uh, the last time at Goodison Park, which was last season, October 2018, Everton picked up a 2-0 win. Now, I firmly am behind Everton to win this game, and I believe they're going to keep a clean sheet. Crystal Palace not doing very well in attack, and they don't have too many creative players in the attack, except for Wilfred, uh, Wilfried Zaha, and uh, injury report this week saying that January signing striker Chink Tosin will not be playing. So there goes one of their uh, options to play at striker. And I think that's going to doom them or help doom them to a loss this weekend. Uh, I believe under 2.5 goals, clean sheet win for Everton. And that's going to be happening on Saturday when Everton and Crystal Palace play at Goodison Park. Now we're going to take a look at one more game 
here on the video. And I'm going to have to go all the way back up to the top here. And we're going to need to switch days over to February 9th because this is a game that will be coming up on Sunday. The Everton game against Crystal Palace will be on Saturday for everybody to watch and to wager on, while this game that I'm, we're going to be looking at now, which is going to be Manchester City hosting West Ham, will be taking place on February 9th, Sunday. And uh, this is a game in which Manchester City will hope that they can turn around their recent fortunes. Last weekend, they lost to Tottenham Hotspur 2-0 in a, a game that really they should have won, uh, had some very good chances early in the game, but ultimately fell to Tottenham Hotspur uh, in that game and had a man, Oleg Zinchenko, or Alexander Zinchenko, sent off for a second bookable offense. So I'm just going to scroll down to have a look for this game. Okay, so here we are for the West Ham-Manchester City game. And as you can see right there, West Ham ice cold right now. They are in 18th place in the English Premier League, and that is a relegation place. And right now it looks like David Moyes is going to be taking this team down to the EFL Championship. Now West Ham continually spend a lot of money on transfers, but they're pretty much... Uh, they don't really have a clue when they're buying these transfers, and they just piece together expensive players expecting them to turn around uh, the team and their their poor form and their poor play, uh, and it just doesn't help. Right now, they are playing very badly, and uh, last week, just more proof of, of how poor they've been, giving up a two-goal lead in the last 15 minutes of the game to draw 3-3 with Brighton. Manchester City, as you can see there, they have uh, lost back-to-back -back games in all competitions, and for the first time... Uh, in Pep Guardiola's, I believe it's his career, his team has not scored in two straight games. So that is a huge, huge uh, thing going in there for Manchester City. And uh, really, um, this is a team that should be playing much better in, in both of those games that they lost. They had plenty of chances to score uh, against Manchester United. They scored twice, actually, and had goals ruled out for offsides. And against Tottenham Hotspur, they had a penalty saved. Uh, excuse me. They had a penalty saved by Tottenham goalkeeper Hugo Lloris. And they also uh, hit the post once, Sergio Aguero uh, hitting the post with, uh, with a shot that uh, was just inches away from going in. So this is a team that just hasn't been able to finish their chances. And as I've said all season long, while we've seen Liverpool pull away, they're 22 points ahead of Manchester City right now in the race for the title and need just six more wins to claim the title. Uh, and we've seen Liverpool have a very strong mentality and uh, very good mentally, while we've seen City struggle and they have a bit of a weak mentality. And that kind of shows with the penalty problems, the penalty taking and scoring problems that they've had all season long. So um, before we get the pick, I'm just going to bring up the head to head because you'll see that, Earlier this season, uh, Manchester City blew away West Ham 5-0 in their previous game. Now, we can see some big score lines here, 4-0, 4-1, 4-0, 5-0, uh, Manchester City over West Ham. Take this take this result out of the way, that 1-0 from last February, because I believe City are going to put some goals past West Ham. I think they're going to score 2.5, over 2.5, that is, goals on their own, and they're going to hold West Ham to a clean sheet. I cannot see this West Ham team, no matter what has happened in the last two weeks for Manchester City, I cannot see this West Ham team uh, scoring a goal or getting a point or keeping a clean sheet of their own. So Manchester City are going to win this game over 2.5 goals in this, and I'm going to go ahead and pick Gabriel Jesus to score a goal. I think he's going to get a start uh, due to this friction that we're seeing between Sergio Aguero and manager Pep Guardiola. So Manchester City to win over 2.5 goals, and Gabriel Jesus to score. That's my pick. So, guys, good luck with that. Now, before we go this week, let me just draw your attention to one more thing, and this will po hopefully help you with your football or your soccer betting, and that is the Z Code System Soccer Buddy. I've clicked on that, so we'll just let that load up. And all you need to do is, if you are a member of Z Code System, is to go to that tool, 
You can always watch the video here to see just how the tool, the Soccer Buddy works, and you will be able to go through and you will have all of these great tools to help you make great wagers. And uh, as you can see, the confidence that these uh, picks have, uh, picking draws and uh, picking the over and under goal. So guys, use that tool to help yourself out this weekend on all of your Premier, all your Premier League and all your other soccer or football betting. So guys, good luck this weekend, and we will see you next time here on Z Code System. So do us a favor also, while you're on YouTube, give us a like and a follow, and uh, stay up to date with all the Z Code System videos, whether it be soccer or NFL or NHL or NBA or Major League Baseball. We've got it for you. So just keep looking back here on our page at YouTube. Thank you, guys.